Have you ever worn a cinema light? I do. Welcome to this video shooter. My name is Victor Bart, and these are the Lumi lights from Spiffy Care. They sent them in for an honest review. So these are the Lumi lights, and they come in two variants: the RGB version or the bicolor version. On the back of the LED strip there are magnets so you can put it on any metal surface like my surfer rack here. There's a spring inside of here, so it's really easy to mount it around things and use it as a wristband. The lights are made out of rubber, here's the controller, the batteries, the light strip and here's a hole to easily hang it off a nail or something. The controls are super simple. On and off, the brightness with this button, with this button you select the three primary colors red, blue, green and with this button on each color you have five variants. So in total you have 15 RGB colors but not white only colors in the RGB variant and with this button if you hold it you have effects and the effects that you have is breathing, police, fire, TV and fireworks. This is the police effect and there's one problem with it. It's not usable in the Netherlands because we only have blue lights on the police cars. This is the fire mode and with this button we can turn the light off. So this was the RGB version. So let's go to the bicolor version. The same on and off, brightness. And here's the button for the white balance. We have eight settings, 2700, 3000, 3200, 3800, 4200, 4800, 5600 and 6000. But one thing I found out that the default if you turn it on is uh, 2700 and I had rather seen that it was 5600 because there's not a display on it so you really need to count till you reach the 5600 and if you go over you need to start over again. So I would prefer to see the default 5600 because the 2700 is really easy to find. And also this light has effects built in. Breathing candle, explosion, red carpet and stroboscopic. The Lumi has the built in battery but to charge them you have here a USB port and it's micro USB and I really hate micro USB. It's the worst connection ever. So I really hope if they make a version 2 of it that they put in USB-C because I keep breaking micro USB cables on my telephone. It's just terrible. And the Lumis comes with this nice short uh, charge cable so you can easily charge it off your power bank or any other USB device. So you get uh, four metal plates. On the back there's sticky tape so you can easily mount this light on every surface. And there's a, a magnet here, here and here. A little thing that I don't like about this light that it doesn't have a hot shoe mount and I can't put them like this on the table. So you always need to have support or bent it like this and put it on the table as a light but as an like a standing light strip you need to have other things or something to support it so yeah i would like a little hot shoe bracket here or here but i already seen on the facebook groups of spiffy that people have 3d printed hot shoe mount kits. So what about battery life? I set up the two lights on full power, the bicolor uh, version uh, on 5600 and the RGB version on red. And on the bicolor version I had a run time of 1 hour and 52 minutes. So that is really impressive for full power 
and the RCB version on the red. I'm not sure if this is the mode that uses the most power, but I had a stunning 3 hours and 10 minutes of runtime. The battery life is really good. The lights are not super bright, they are like more specialty lights or lights that you can mount on your camera. What we can do to mount this light is just strap it around your side handle or put it on your wireless uh, audio device like this. Or you can put it around your head of your tripod like this. I really like the spring system here in the light. Let's show you what the lights can do in a dimly lit situation. For example in a hotel room where you can live stream or podcast. So you have a camera and no real lights. Of course you can make videos with a high ISO here for example on the GH3. But let's uh, make this scene much brighter with the use of the two Lumi lights. So what we're gonna do is we take the bicolor Lumi light and put it on full power on a daylight balance. And as you can see, it's already much improving. And you can simply use a water bottle like this, put it on your table and put the light uh, to it. And now you see on my face, we have much better lighting. And what we can do with the RGB light is give some extra accent light. And because they have magnets, I can easily put them on the arm of the microphone. So now you have much better light going on and you can tweak of course the colors for blue or green or a tint or yeah. So this looks much better right now with only two little lights. The small manuals give all the information you need and the bicolor version goes from 2700 to 6000 K. The CRR is greater than 95. The luminance is 300 lux on 0 0.3 meters and on 1 meter 30 lux and the beam angle is 120 degrees. And the RCB version on 0 0.3 meter 200 lux and on 1 meter 20 lux and also the beam angle is 120 degrees. Last year they introduced this light on NAB and for me this was one of the highlights of the show because it's such a new concept and nice little light to travel with. So this is a super nice first style light that always will be in my backpack. So with the high ISOs of the new cameras, a little light like this can make a really big impact already to make uh, a scene a little bit more interesting or if it's really dark to have a little eye light. I really love these lights, but please stop using micro USB. It's terrible. So if you are interested in this light and want to pick it up, I have Amazon affiliated links down in the description. Thanks for watching. It even fits Lego minifigures.